Hey Troglodytes, welcome back to another episode of Trogly's Guitars. Today we have a very nice 1976 Gibson Les Paul Custom. It is in excellent condition. You do have a, a few minor things that we need to go over here, but definitely collector grade and very beautiful. For the most part, it is all original. It looks like uh, somebody, this is either like a leftover body from like uh, the seven you know, early mid 70s that had the ground wire and they didn't use it or somebody kind of modified it. They kind of rewired it like the pickups in a, a way I've never seen before, but hey, it works. So besides a little bit of a rewiring, this is a stock 76 custom. So let's start with the headstock here. Great shape. I mean, very, very little aging to the lacquer. You have your common lacquer shrinking and a little bit chipped off, but that's just to be expected with its age. The frets are in terrific shape. You do have minor wear. I mean, nothing that a uh, polish and crowning job wouldn't get rid of. It looks like you only have very minor uh, fret uh, and splits that you usually get due to uh, humidity levels. So great shape, ebony fretboard, awesome shape body. And finding a nice natural that hasn't aged is a bit difficult. So this is definitely a nice collector's piece. You can see you've got some scratching wear and tear there. It's like a little oil residue from cleaning. As you can see, uh, a very small ding here. Nothing too bad, but the, just look at the gorgeous wood grain. That's what I really love about this one, is it really uh, pops. And as you see, there are very light scratches and indentations. So nothing too terribly bad. So you got a few dings there and one there. So, I mean, if you're looking for a 100% mint example, no, this is not yours, but if you're looking for the next best thing, this is definitely it. Now, one thing to notice is right here, there's like a little bit of the clear coat missing. I had a, a Gibson Artisan like this once. It had that entire area worn away. It was just that guy's playing style. For some reason, they somehow get their thumb on there or something and it just eats away at the finish. So it's not too bad, and until I tell you about it, you really don't notice it. Even when you do know it's there, it's not entirely visible until you get it in the right lighting. Back of the neck and back of the guitar is just about as clean. I really love the back of the headstock. Look at that gorgeous wood grain. Uh, three-piece maple neck and uh, it, it's a 60s profile but a little beefier than a uh, typical 60s I always say 76s have that nice kind of in-between neck so if you don't like pencil fins don't get uh, 79s go for a 76 I always say and the back of the guitar does have some wear as you're seeing a few light nicks and dings but nothing too extreme but it is there I also got some scratching on the back plate but overall it maintains a clear clean appearance we've kind of got a dark knot in the wood right there which is just a, a character mark I love things like that because if your guitar gets stolen they scratch the serial number you at least have this character mark there. Uh, on the side of the guitar here, as you can see, there are a few light nicks and dings. And then there's that indentation scratch there. But nothing too bad. It is a very nice clean example. It comes with, uh, I mean, it, it could be considered error correct. These cases were mainly like 72 through 75, 
So it is possible that this could be an original case to it, but it is much more worn. And I actually gave it this case because the case that it came to me in, I'm, I'm not sure if it's actually a Gibson case. It says Gibson on it, but I think somebody might have just spray painted it on there. So this one came from a 74 Custom, so it's still fairly era correct. It's got the gorgeous purple lining. Uh, you do have uh, this little bit here is kind of broken off a little. It's a worn case, but it does the job. And personally, I think the natural finish really looks good in it. So, troglodytes, I thank you for watching this awesome custom today. Feel free to contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash troglies, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more, and check out the reverb listing if you're interested in buying it. We'll catch you next time. Bye.